Hey, this is a video on Mega Mode. A scratch 1.4 modification. This mode contains two categories which include the connection category and the more category. So let's look at the change from the usual top to bottom manner. So the first thing is share button from which you can get compiled into exe which you can do from this folder actually it's located in this folder but it will not work properly I don't know whatever is the reason and the same is for the upload to mod share because some kind of an URL or the method to share it is changed anyways let's just continue into the video and then you can see that then help has some changes it contains credits but it's not working of course but anyway I will say who made this thing and but this this mod is mod made by J Slomba J Slomba means J S L O M B A anyway it's not very important but just saying and then you can just enter this this is the developer menu where you can do a bunch of developer stuffs like I don't know of course this will not work but you can read all skin skin from the folder or open your browser browser means the code browser anyways that's all that. and that's all that there and the other than that there's something called my script over here which has no changes currently because if you try to drag a block it will automatically go back to here let me just try with other blocks so that you can check no you can see it's automatically changing my scripts I think it's supposed to have some use but no feature has been added anyways other than that maybe this robot maybe the p sprite is different default sprite and come let's check block palette now you can see that there is you can make other sprites to like move if you want let me just color sprite to a little bit differently so that you, you guys can see something I mean just see if it's a different robot or not okay I just colored it slightly differently so that you could notice something now we are in sprite 1 as you can see and let's just make the sprite 2 to move 10 step you can see the sprite 2 is moving 10 steps this means that it's influencing other sprites using this thing without using broadcast you can do that and not only that you can also change the rotation style of the sprite so now you can see the our, our robot is rotating in normal style but let's just switch that to left and right and if you start rotating then you can see it can only first of all this robot is very not a very unique sprite because even if you rotate we cannot see in left and right that is the reason but if you switch here and come back you can see a difference over here because it lags slightly while changing these kind of stuffs anyways it's very interesting you can set your rotation mode and you can also check which rotation mode you are in left and right or none none means it will never rotate even if you are changing the angle and that's all of the change I can see for now directly over here so let's go to the controls category and you can see there's a when this thing is true and inside of that you have to put a particular condition whatever it is like okay let me just put some simple condition where 1 is equal to 1 in this one like this one will keep on this is like a for all loop because it will always execute because 1 is always equal to 1 if you put any condition it will execute all the time even if you're not clicking the green flag itself that's what is the meaning but it of course has some kind of bugs and all which is what is mentioned in some pages and you can also press green flag using this thing you can create a simple loop kind of things using this thing it's kind of like a go to in basic I think so or more like a broadcast but for green flag you can see it creates a simple loop over there and then you can also check what you're receiving as well means I mean whether you're receiving something or not let me just put that let's keep it as message itself because that is the default thing you do just broadcast message like and put it into make let me make a my variable because it's kind of important anyway we'll check variable later but I'm just making a variable to check this thing you can see it's saying false once you broadcast it will be true for some time you can see it's becoming true if I'm putting this it will always be true because it's in for a loop anyways that's how this thing works you can report whether you're receiving it or not in true and false statement it's a predicate block of course 
and this one is running in backward so let's just test that thing out of course I think if you watch my previous video you might get slightly bored because most of these mods are kind of same anyway I'm just reviewing all of these let's see if you if I stop this at any time and start the next series or something like that anyways let's just do like that hello okay and then finally the buy thing over there if I just put like that as the word says it's running backward it's supposed to run backward but it's not working anyways I will not put this in a flag button I better run it like that anyways it's not working I think there's some kind of bug or something I have no idea what bug is that anyways let this try with shuffle at least would that work okay, let me just bring this back here of course these things are supposed to run but I don't know maybe it's not made properly that is the reason it's a bug but in other modes of course it will work and over here you can jump a particular costumes you want if you made imagine imagine you're making more copies of this thing and this robot is going to be like having a white colored I don't know slanting line over here and this thing would have it in the would maybe have like a eye like that I don't know if it's noticeable so I'll just draw something big means like a cross in its head that's what this robot contains you can just skip but you can just jump forward by costume this is for running very fastly you can see we were in this costume and then we are able to jump forward by two which will return to this costume that's how it's working or you can even animate some kind of costumes somehow this would uh, this would be kind of a loop but it will wait in between and do a bunch of stuffs let me just oh sorry let me just stop this thing because here I'm supposed to put one two three because that much costume only we are having I don't know why I can drag this block of course it's making the editor to hang or something so I'm forced to end mega mode executable using the task manager method anyways let's, let me just reopen this thing and of course it's saving using dot mm extension there's nothing special about it but I'm just saying that anyways you can just use this block if you need what is this kind of buggy in here as well this will check the costume number and this is for the name of the costume so like 10 we'll just put something like 2 name of the costume 2 is costume 2 ok it's not existing because I reopened it that is the reason anyway you can check the costume name for particular costume you want let me change back to 10 ok I'm just hiding it and then you can also say nothing means imagine you're saying thinking something like that and if you click say nothing it's more like the old block which existed yeah that's also say nothing means imagine you're saying this thing and if you need to stop that you can just click say nothing it's almost same as saying not saying over here nothing over here nothing means just a blank space over there not even a space but blank thing then there's even a reporter for size I don't remember if it existed okay there's a reporter for whether it's hiding or not if it's showing if it will report false if it's hiding it will report true showing false hiding true let me just do that and then you can also go backward by a particular layer or forward by a layer and you can even report which layer you are in one is the fr front post layer two is the backer layer if you have more sprites then it, you can see the layers may increase by one means now there are three layers I think so let's see how much layers are there now there is three layers as you can see normally there are two layers if there is one sprite if there are three sprites then three layers I mean including the stage that's what I'm saying three sprites and then you can also do some take picture for new costume it's a kind of a block but this makes the thing to hang again I'm sorry I'm making this thing to hang a lot okay it's running anyways so I can take from my camera if I needed to 
you can see the VM has crashed so I don't want to do unnecessary things like that is anyway closed let me just open mega mode I will not use this camera extension anyway it's my mistake using these things usually I don't do like these things but anyway you can paint a new costume that would work I think so yeah, you can see it opens the paint editor in case you need to do it using blocks means when the project is running it will just pop out that thing wrap a new costume from stage you can do that you can export a particular costume to a particular place or flip your robot which I think so you guys can't notice that much but it's flipping because the sprite is kind of not that much visible thing because it's very symmetrical then there's even ask something in dialogue let this create some new variable again I'll just set this variable to this thing this is like how program languages work you have to st store into a variable a particular dialog box rather than being like a whole block I just put you can see that's how it stores it into the variable that's how we can store into a variable it of course does I think so it will store into answer as well no it's not and then you are having distance to a particular position you can check to a particular x and y position how much distance it's from that position or you can even check if you are left clicking or right clicking the mouse and sound contains some new blocks which is kind of new for me I think so I've seen some other mode you can import sound or even, even you can open the recorder yeah, you can see the sound recorder is open here or you can even check the length of a particular sound but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna import any sound now or record it you can like now the operators has been broken down to a drop down menu where you can select the subtraction division or multiplication or exponential and then there's also this common thing of if and else let me just explain to you guys again I'm gonna explain this a lot but if you see my previous videos of course don't worry you can just skip around and do whatever you want let's just be like that and let me just set my variable to zero and make it like my where if the my variable if there's a particular condition and if it's zero then he's supposed to say it is zero you can create some simple scripts like that or you can put it is not if it's not so if you click this it is a zero of course as you can see but in case you're changing the variable by one and checking if it'll say it is not it's kind of similar to if and else condition over here but it's like what you know like putting this duplicating this let me just duplicate it slightly and putting this over here and here and then like I'll just duplicate this thing I'm just putting it over here this putting over here it is not now this thing is same as this thing that's what I'm coming to say I don't know if you understand it but this is one of my best best explanation I've ever given and this thing is kind of similar but it's like putting two ifs into each other I mean because you're putting because this itself is a condition block and you're putting two more conditions inside of it if the first condition is true then it will do this thing otherwise it will check for this condition that's what is working you can put one condition over here and then it will again check the condition which you are doing and then it will say true or false that's what is going on here I don't know if you understand this thing but I think so I will practically use this in some other way if there is even one more chance to use this mods after this anyways you can also reverse you can just there's operators for the strings like let's put that thing a simple thing you can reverse things and lowercase it uppercase it shuffle it as well which means it will say different things each time or even report it actually reporting is that's what I'm saying it will report something or greater of 10 and this would check which number is greater and report it that's what is going on here and 
then you can even check if 2 is the root of 64 I mean 2 root okay it's, it's a square root that's what it's meant this one is cube root that's what is the thing cube root square root and that that kind of stuffs and this one is checking if it's divisible by 5 saying false because 11 is not divisible by 5 but of course you know that 20 is divisible by 5 which means it's mud 5 can be multiplied by a number to get 20 but 5 cannot be multiplied by any number to get 11 because 5 into 2 is 10 and 5 into 3 is 15 because you cannot get 11 by multiplying by 5 and then there's even a pen down reporter I don't know why it's so common but it is there and then there's pen hue report as well and pen size reporter which added and you can stamp a particular text at somewhere like let me just set this font size to a little more larger one like 24 will be good so let me just move my bot over there you can see hello this is a text and you're getting in a particular font you want okay let me just close that thing it's having a bug because that drop down is not working I think so that's what's going on yeah that's the drop down will not work because you cannot change the font in this thing of course other modes has more are less buggier but I'm just reviewing this that's it for my happiness purpose you can also move a variable to a particular position you want by using this block it's supposed to work but of course this also is having bug because this I think the creator of this is made lots of bug but yet released it anyways doesn't make lots of sense but yeah here try this things of course most of this, this these things are available in many mods I think he just took it from other mods that's what's going on let me create my variable called you can see the variable is being created over here and it's of course for all sprites different mods have a different style of doing the same thing let me just create my list you can see my list is default color is yellow let me just add thing and of course there is nothing new over here or you can even add a local list named something let me just create something like that my local list you can see it's created but it take time to load you can see now it's loaded and it's only available for this sprite you can see sprite one thing it is if you go to other sprite you cannot change anything about that means imagine you create one more sprite like that but you cannot access this from here as you can see it's not available but here it's available because it's a local list and you can also create a global list called my list I don't know how is that possible okay it's case sensitive thing I don't know how it created that anyway or even you can change your color list color as well then add a thing you can see that's the color of the list you can just change back and come back because it takes some time to load things up just change the color to this just add the thing you can see it become green you can come back you can see you can change the color of the list block as well and also the list adding also you can see you can create a rainbow kind of thing over here in different colors and then let's come to the connection thing get you can get something like date this accesses from the computer I think so that's what is going on 2nd April 2022 you can check the time it's 322 in my place you can check many more things but I don't want to waste your time a lot you can open this forum page but these things are kind of outdated because you can open some URLs but these things are outdated because scratch forums has changed a lot because before it used to use PHP and have different URLs that is the reason why these things would not work but this thing will work of course you can go to a particular URL go to this URL with HTTP pre prefix or yes or no you can put over here but I don't want to jump here but I hope I will not click this by mistake you can open my stuff page for a particular user I don't know how this thing works but I don't know my stuff page means it's user page that's what I mean and this saying I tested it out already that's what I'm saying and you can even set your temporary username in this pro this I mean in this program for a while and set your password to something this could be useful in some username system or something like that it's very simple to create but I don't know why it exists and then you can even host a mesh anyway it's cool let me just go to this sprite and delete this thing because I don't want it let me just hide all these things and let's just create our clone 
you can clone yourself by using this block over here or you can delete yourself even if it's the original sprite it will delete itself that's what's weird anyways it looks cool and of course you can press clear if you want to remove the text there do for sprite you can do for you can even work for other sprites which is kind of weird means you can let me just create some kind of simple I don't know something like that now I can just influence the other sprite somehow I don't know why it's like that but I can make the nearby sprite to move you can see I can make it move I can make the second sprite to rotate and I can do bunch of a I can use any block inside of that and make it to do a particular thing that I want but of course you cannot input special music names and all directly or very easily of course there are tricks to do that like putting this thing over here and putting this thing but I didn't test it out you can just put a na name of the music there just simply saying a trick that's it if you want you can skip around again I'm saying you can alert high using this thing you can come from shore yes you should report true dialogue information with content you can see it creates a dialogue over here you can put whatever you want like mega mode is gonna be the name of the title and you can see hey subscribe there if you want you can subscribe it's your totally own wish but I'm just saying because it's kind of motivational or something can save the project using a block itself but I don't know why it's opening the network data driver it doesn't make any sense whatever is going on set single stepping is there if you wanted to and it will choose it last you to choose what mode you want you can pause the project you can click ok if you want to continue you can check if you're in presentation mode if you made it full screen it will say true if it's normal screen it will say false that's what's going on and I think that's all about this that's all I can say about this mod and yeah this thing is its packer but I don't know if it will work because I tested it out already